take this balloon, rub it against my head to generate some static electricity, and this small piece of plastic to represent an organism and do the same, can make that organism fly. But which type of creature could travel around the world using static electricity? Well, brand new science by the University of Bristol has uncovered how one surprising animal has conquered the skies. Would you believe spiders can fly? At first, it might seem they just float on the wind. But these smart spiders are actually tapping into the Earth's electric fields. There are different levels of electricity in the air, produced naturally by thunderstorms around the planet. Amazingly, the tiny hairs on a spider's body can sense these and use them to get around. Called ballooning, they'll start by tiptoeing, sticking up their back legs into the air and unravelling strings of web until their spider senses detect the electrical fields. As their silk is negatively charged, it repels negative charges in the air, generating a force strong enough to launch them skywards. Not all spiders can balloon, but those that can likely use both wind and electricity, sailing along on their silk lines wherever the wind takes them. An almost effortless way to travel. But why would a small spider take to the skies? Well, flying may be part of a clever strategy, helping them to avoid competition, start a new colony, or even find more food. In fact, their silk superhighway is so successful, some tiny travellers have been found an astonishing 1,000 miles out at sea and up to two and a half miles high in the air. So, these airborne arachnids certainly do get around. But whether they can control their altitude and choose where they're landing is something scientists are still trying to find out. Thank you.